So what are we on day four? One part four. Day four, second true full day though. Yep. Um, we got to get out of this spot, but our anchors are stuck behind that big rock. So we're gonna have to pull ourselves up, fire up the compressor engine, send Nick down to dislodge them as I hold the boat in place. And then, uh, and then come on up. Should we pull the suction line in first too? Probably. Which okay. means I shouldn't be in pool wet suit because it's hot. You're fine. I'm okay, fine. let's do that. Woo! I swim my nuts off. Probably. Um, okay, so let's let's get the high pressure line up. How did he put the yellow one on? Is it an anchor? It's an anchor, yeah. Okay. You gotta tie it off so we don't start floating away? Am I gonna have to take the yellow one off too? Yeah. All right. Shit, I might need to dive on the other side of the rock then. Which one do I do first, the black one or the yellow one? The black one. The yellow one's kind of holding us in the eddy right now. Yeah. The black one's on this side somewhere. So. The scary part's gonna be is once I pull that yellow one, I gotta rush. No, I'm gonna try and jump out and just hold us. The eddy okay. holds us in here pretty good. And I'm just gonna try and jump out and hold us from the rock. All right. Fire up, start Give me your mat. Some, give me some air. Good job, man. Woo. Are we drifting? No. Ugh. I still got us. You got both of them? Ah, uh, the, the mushroom anchor is still down there.
We got, got Nick fired up on the six inch pro line. Uh, we're gonna try and run some production as, as me and Mark sample. We figure we'll try and get the most out of we can. This is one of the holes where we got a quarter of a gram in an hour with the five inch. So we'll see what this is going to equate to in a production day with the six, just running as much as we can during the day. Testing. I mean, this is my new box that I built. Since uh, when I bought these dredges, they never had ripple trays or anything in them. It's running pretty good. Uh, I'm just, I have never really ran a 22 inch wide box. So, a little bit of learning going on there. Pretty nice, it looks like. We'll see what we get on production with it. I mean, Pro Lines are just sweet fucking dredges. I love this thing already. Good old Pro Line 6. We got Nick plowing. There's like a couple inches of loose stuff up top. Um, then like four to six inches of hard pack down to a sand layer, and you just run down to that sand layer. So. doing and I'm gonna I just want I'm watching the box right now just to see how it's running Cause like I said this is my own box it's a slight I mean I definitely got pro lines dimensions and everything for a bunch of it for the whole front part but then I changed some of the rear um, so we'll see how she's doing I, think I still need to adjust the throttle on angle maybe a little bit for all 20 minutes. And the airline blew up. So it's a good thing I brought a snorkel. So hopefully I can get something done out here. But it's not one thing, it's another, right? Well, the six ran dry in about three hours. Made a couple of islands over here at least. But Matt's not going to be happy when he comes over here because here's the hole I was supposed to be digging. And I ended up way over there.
and kind of see what I've been chewing through there. I don't know. River made me go this way, so it is what it is. That's beautiful out here. Got a couple kayakers coming down here. The mask gonna be down in a little bit. Give me some more fuel. We'll see if uh see if I found anything in that disaster of a hole I just made. Or we'll see if mask gonna fire me. You're fired. My rescuer. I'm gonna crash my boat too. Row, row, row your boat. Turn it all around. Bring me gas and haul some mass so I can suck some ground. Crash my boat and sharp screws, jeez. So we're still doing testing. We're doing some testing up there. Some of the gold's looking better. But we decided that on one of our better holes down here, where I think what we got a quarter of a gram, quarter of a gram in an hour test hole, that we would set the six inch up and at least run a tank of gas and see what we get. Um, just to see if there's, it, sometimes there's a quantity, a quantity thing where you just don't quite punch down in the right area, but there's like kind of little pockets of gold in the river. Um, cause we're still only running what? Like top, top, like loose materials, how thick? Oh, uh, pro probably about that four inches. Four inches. And then there's, and there's probably a good six to 10, roughly. six to 10 inches of Hard, gray hard, pack. Gray hard pack, and then there's, then there's some lenses, pockets. lenses of peanut butter material out there that's usually your pay layer. And so, overall, what less than 18 inches of material, probably. Yeah, so we're just skimming 18 inches of material across down to there's like a sand layer, it's like quicksand, it's like quicksand, which is weird. I don't know what it is, it's filled with mica, filled with shit tons of mica. But it, it were the gold's riding in one of those hard pack layers there. But here's a what two hour run two hour run on the six inch and I mean these upper riffles are just loaded um, I see gold all the way back to there here pull this rock I see gold back to this riffle but that's the fourth fifth riffle fifth riffle back and then I know I see a little bit and then I'm, there's a little flake air there's a little bit getting back a little further this gold's so flat and flaky um, but I don't see anything down at the end which of course is good. Um, I wasn't, we got, we, it took us a little bit to get the little trap running right in this six inch. Um, look at all that garnet, there's fucking garnet everywhere. But I think, I think we might be on it now. So now it might just be a production game. Gotta move the dirt, scoop the dirt, dump the dirt. Scoop the dirt, dump the dirt. Suck the dirt, dump the dirt. So we're gonna have to get this back to camp to this evening or something and uh get it all run down and done and figured out and we'll get a weight on it so far the best we did in an hour is about a quarter gram i think i got it a little bit better than quarter gram in an hour up there but it's it's running bedrock with just like pockets of material on the bedrock so there's not like necessarily tons of stuff to run whereas down here you got all kinds of stuff. You got a shit ton of stuff to run, especially if we're just going to be doing this. So, fingers crossed, we got what? At least two grams. If it's two grams, we're doing at least gram an hour, which then we're getting into something we like. So, fingers crossed on two grams. Fingers even more crossed on more than that. Double fingers crossed. We'll see. Toes, too. We'll be back. <laughs> So here's our, I think we're, I think we might be figuring it out. Uh, six inch today, about a two hour run. One tank of gas, basically. Um, 
And she's looking nice. She's looking real nice. It's just figuring out like what layer, and I think there's like lenses of that peanut butter out there. It's not quite consistent. There's like lenses of it, and it's maybe packed in that. And with our single sample holes, you just weren't hitting those blebs that are scattered about. I don't know. Little gutter sluice contraption. We'll have to rerun the stuff again once we pull this stuff out. So definitely had a couple little pieces roll off the end. Um, thoughts on weight? What do you think? What's a guess? I'm guessing two grams. Every spoonful's got something. All right, that's probably on the bottom, mm -hmm. right? Should be, Ooh. possibly. Yeah, Just washed that. all that shit out. Got a this is bit of this stuff is the left. sixth intro and this is next. Okay, that's what I mean. yeah. I'm not very good at aiming this thing. That's pretty clean. That looks pretty nice. Yeah, and it looked like at least one flake whirled yeah. off the bottom. At yeah, at least. At least. And I mean there we got nice flakes all the way down. So yeah, look at that. Looks like my cock and balls. Inch deep by a wide. 